Right. Yeah. So I'm here with uh, Travis Tomasi, and uh, why don't you just tell us what you're uh, doing out here today? Yeah, sure. Well, we're shooting the uh, USPSA Iron Sight Nationals. Yeah. Yeah, we're here in St. George, Utah. It's phenomenal. The weather's beautiful, and the it match is. is great. Yeah. So how have you been doing so far today? You know, I've been doing okay. Always yeah. want to do better. You know, we're all competitors, and, and we, we yeah. just we want to do our best, and I haven't done my best yet, but I'm hoping to get there. Has there been anything that's uh, been tripping you up in particular, or just it's one of those days? You know, it's, it's sort of one of those days, and also the stages are deceptively difficult. Sure. You know, there's some there's some tight shots in there, and you, you got to be on your you got to be on your behavior. Well, I, I spoke with uh, Kim Nelson yesterday, and he was telling me about all the work that goes into making these as uh, gamer proof as they say yeah. as they can and uh so it sounds like they did a good job with that oh he they nailed it they nailed it absolutely uh it's it's a great course of fire yeah so uh, is there anything that you do uh maybe differently to prepare for each stage well, for each stage, you know, want to number one, you want to figure out where all the targets are. You want to figure out the fastest strategy. You know, what is the fastest way to get through the stage? How you're going to engage the targets? Um, once you figure that out, then you got to memorize it. You know, commit it to memory, visualize, and then when you're in the box, it's time to you know put it in gear and just let your program run. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've heard a lot of uh, shooters say that they put together their plan, but as soon as that buzzer goes off, that plan just kind of leaves their mind all together. Do you have a similar uh, issue? You know what, really, that comes down to experience. The more you do this, the better you get at, at visualizing and memorizing the stages. Yeah. And that doesn't happen as much when you've been shooting for a while, thankfully, because it's a bad feeling, you know? Yeah. It's like, what do I do now? You know, the bell's gone off and it's it's time to box. <laughs> so uh, what's, uh, what's in store for you after this match? Uh, after this match, I actually go back to work. So I shoot for Remington, okay. and we've got some really, really cool products we're working on releasing. Anything so, you can kind of give me a heads up on? Yeah, well, uh, let's see. We've got Double Stack 1911s, okay. which we're working on bringing out, which is really great. There, you know, there's a lot of interest for that, and sure. perfect for this sport especially. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that connected with, because uh, didn't Remington pick up uh, Pair Ordnance? They did, exactly. So, okay. That's right. They, they bought Pair Ordnance, the brand. And so we're rebranding those paras, doing some improvements, and bringing okay. them back out. Very cool. Yeah. I was always a Paraordnance fan, so I'm excited to hear about that. So. Awesome. awesome. Well, it was awesome. good to meet you. Thank you, my friend. Uh, good luck with the rest of your match. I appreciate it. Thank you.